What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go through and set up your Facebook advertising campaigns, which is $5 a day. Now, this is kind of a beginner Facebook advertising like tutorial right here for you all. Um, the strategy of if you're spending $5 a day versus if you're spending, let's say 50 or 100 or more dollars per day is a little bit different. But in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I personally would do if I was starting completely from scratch and I just had five dollars a day to spend with my budget, all right? So, um, as I mentioned, it'd be a little bit different for the advance, and I'm gonna shoot that video a little bit later this week for you all so you guys can see exactly what I do in my business and how you can basically model it for your business. But let's say you just have five dollars per day, okay? And actually, before we dive into this, if you guys comment down below, if you comment Facebook ads, I'm gonna shoot you over my Facebook advertising mini course. 100% for free, where it basically goes through and breaks down um, some of these different steps in more detail. So just right below this video, comment Facebook ads, and I will shoot that on over to you guys so you guys can have that. Um, okay, so let's just let's just go here. So we've got five dollars a day. I'm gonna break this up into two different categories. Okay, now the first one I'm gonna probably do about one to two dollars per day, and this is gonna be retargeting my warm market. Okay, so this is going to be anyone. So this is people from my um, existing contact list. Okay, so if you've been in business for a while and you have all these this data of all these people, their emails, their phone numbers, all that stuff, we're going to show you how to upload it into Facebook. And I actually have a complete other video that shows you step by step all the details on that. So we're going to have our existing contact list. We're going to have anyone who's visited our website. Okay, because if they visit our website, they're not completely cold traffic anymore. They at least know who we are. That's kind of becomes more of that warm, hot market. And so a lot of times, this right here, you're retargeting. You can generate leads for like 25 to 50% of the cost of a normal um, cold audience lead. And so that's why we want to really go through and make sure we're monetizing this. So our existing contact list, anyone who's visited our website, and anyone who has engaged with our Facebook page okay so those are kind of the first three key points and I'm gonna go into Facebook ads manager really quick show you how to set all these up really quick and then we're gonna go through and hit the second part all right so um, if we come over here to the ads manager okay let's just go back to the main page so you guys know how to actually get here so this is basically click into your ads manager then we're gonna come up here to the search and we're just gonna type in audiences okay so we're just gonna click on that and you know how typically if you set up a Facebook ads campaign before you can say, hey, I'm going to target everyone in Phoenix, Arizona within a 25 mile radius that is a first time home buyer or whatever the demographic might be. That's like you can go through and that's your audience you target where you want to go through and we want to create these custom audiences of saying, hey, these are all the people that have already visited my website. These are all the people who have that, that are on my contact list. These are all the people that have engaged with my Facebook page. So the first one. What is the first one here? Okay, existing contact list. So we come over here, we can say create audience, we go to custom audience, and then we're gonna go say customer file, and then we say add customers from your copy and paste file. So this, you can go um, download the file template that Facebook gives you, and you can see that you can put in their email, their phone number, um, their first name, last name, zip code, street address, all this good, good stuff here. Um, what I typically do is just put in their email address. If I have their phone number, I'll put that in. And you can upload the file or what I like to do is I like to just copy and paste the data here Okay, so you're just gonna have email uh, It says paste your data there So I'm not gonna go through and do this because I have another video which I'll link right here in this video I'll show you step by step how to do that and then if we come back here So let's see email email template lead demo. So this is an audience. I uploaded up 200 people So that is an audience that um, or actually no 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 this is the audience right here, test audience 2018 demo. This is from a customer list. Okay, so you can see I didn't add a ton of people, but that's 40 people right there. Okay, and that's why if we have five dollars, we only want to spend like one to two dollars per day on this audience because it's typically gonna be a smaller audience if you're either a new business or you know you don't have a huge marketing advertising budget. Okay, so that's one that we're gonna go through and do. The second one is anyone who's visited our website. So what we're gonna do is come over here to create audience. Once again, we're gonna do custom audience. Then we're gonna go over here. You can see what type of audience you would say website traffic. Okay, so now we're gonna say, hey, anyone who's visited our website, all right, in the last 30 days, 
Um, you can say last seven days or the maximum is 180 days. So I'm just, just for like the mass broad range because like let's say you're a real estate agent, mortgage broker or insurance, like let's say you're a local business, you probably want to capture all the people from the last 180 days to have just a bigger audience to go remarket to, okay? Now you could say all website visitors, so that means anyone that is, you know, wherever your Facebook pixel is. And if you guys are like, what's a Facebook pixel? I'll also link another video to that up here at the top. So you guys have that step by step how to set that up. Basically, the pixel is Facebook's way of tracking everyone that's visit your website. Okay, so you could say, hey, I'm gonna track every single visitor that's visited any page. So like all of the pages on my blog, my contact page, my pricing page, my home page, my landing pages, all the different pages there. Or you can say, hey, I just want it to be people who have visited specific web pages. So you can go through and put the URLs to your blog, your homepage, um, your about page, whatever it is. So you do one of these two. So we're just gonna say all website visitors, and we're gonna say all visitors, and we'll just say demo here. Okay, so now we're just gonna create that audience. So we've got the two down, right? We've got the customer list, and then this one, all visitors of our website traffic. See, it's populating which is probably gonna take, it could take a couple hours, um, so we don't need to really wait for this, we can just keep moving forward. And then the next one is anyone who is engaged with our Facebook page, okay? So we're gonna come back over here, say create audience, custom audience, and then engagement, okay? And now you can say, this one's for video, this is anyone who's watched a specific video on your page. This one, you know, is for anyone who's connected with your, your lead form. What we want right here is your Facebook page, okay? And you can say um, you can say meet people any of these in the following. So I'm going to come down. I've got a lot of Facebook pages right here, but let's just say this page. And say anyone who engaged with your page in the last 365 days. I think this is the max here. Yeah, 365 is on this one. So you can say or anyone who visited your page, any people who engaged with your post or any button or any of the ads, people who clicked on the call to action. So you have all these different options. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for this one, just anyone who engaged with your page. So that's gonna be the biggest audience. We're gonna cast the widest net here. Okay, so we're gonna say page engage demo, all right? Now, these audience sizes might be a little bit bigger for me as I'm going through and doing this just because I've got a, a fairly big audience, fairly big following, I do a lot of advertising here. But we've got this, this one right here, or this audience of 40 people. We've got all visitors that visit our website that's populating, and we have everyone who's engaged with my Facebook page that's populating as well. All right, so now what we're gonna do is come over here to the ads manager, and we're just gonna create a campaign. And um, I've got an, I've got several other videos, guys, as far as like what type of campaign we want to create. But let's say for this one, we'll do the lead generation campaign, and we'll say lead generation demo. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to choose these different audiences, okay? So now what we do is we come down here and see this custom audiences. We can choose all the ones we just created. So we've got over here, we click on this, we go to custom audience, and we have the test audience 2018 demo. You see the 40 people right there? So we'll click on this. We'll go here to all visitors demo and see how it says less than 20. That's just because it's still populating. Once it goes through and fully populates, it, it'll have everything, but you can just keep moving forward from here. And then we say the page engage demo. Once again, that's also populating. But now we go through and we're targeting these specific people. And we come down and we can, for the for retargeting like this, I like to just do automatic placements. I like to have it on all the different areas because when you have a smaller audience, when you're going like, even if you have like one to $2 per day, you're giving Facebook more of a chance to show your ads to these people. So I just leave it automatic placements for the um, the warm market and what we're gonna do for the daily budget is we'll just say one dollar okay and that's it guys so that is it for the first part okay so now if we come over here the other okay three to four dollars per day is going to be for your cold market okay so this is going out and getting more more people going out and like you know people that might not know who you are and I would go through and set up a conversion ad or a lead format with these different things. So we've got our one to two dollars a day retargeting all these people, which is going to get us leads for a lot less than this cold market. But if you're kind of a new business, or even if you're a growing business, you want a majority of the the, the budget to be going out and finding more new people. All right. And then the cool thing is, 
is anyone that sees these ads, we've already set it up where if they see this ad and they like it or comment or whatever, they automatically get thrown into this bucket where we're retargeting them. And it's pretty cool, right? So like, for example, if they go through, someone has never heard of you before, sees your ad and they like it or comment it or click on it, or whatever it is, we've already set up this, this little, um, this audience right here of anyone who is engaged with our Facebook page and anyone who visits our website. Okay, so if they like or comment the post or they click on it and they go to our website, they move into this bucket right here where we're now retargeting. And, and you guys have heard the statistic, like the more times you go through and show an ad or advertise somebody, the more likely they're gonna take action. So I think the number they've said in the past is like seven times. So that goes through and helps boost the chances of that person becoming a lead. It warms them up and really connects them with you and your brand, right? So as far as the three to four dollars per day cold market, if we come over here, let me just change this up. So we'll go, it's the budget. I'll, I'll say it's four dollars if we're doing one dollar a day. For the placements, I like to just do the news feeds. Okay, so I'm gonna uncheck everything besides just the Facebook news feeds right there. Okay, and then if we come up here, we'll exit out of all of these just because this is a different audience. And then we'll say, okay, this is gonna be Phoenix, oh, can't spell. Phoenix, Arizona within a 25 mile radius. And maybe we're going for people, you know, 27 to 65 plus. And then you come in here and just do your normal targeting, right? So anyway, guys, that is kind of how I would set it up if you are completely brand new, start from scratch. I like to go through and get this retargeting list of your existing contacts, anyone who's visited your website, anyone who's engaging with your Facebook page because you'll see a lot cheaper leads with that market right there and then have the next three to four dollars per day going out to your cold market right now be on the lookout guys make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be launching later this week if once you outgrow this five dollar a day budget and you're ready to go through and expand there's more things that you can go through and do with your budget because you have a little bit more money to spend it's it's a little bit tougher when you only have like five dollars per day it only goes so far so I'll break down exactly some of the different things you have a little bit bigger budget so I'll say like in essence if you have a hundred dollars per day just because that's an easy number so we can say like hey five percent here ten percent here thirty percent there whatever um, but be on the lookout for that video so make sure you subscribe to the channel because we launch a new video almost every day on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business also if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up um, I would really appreciate that it would be you know it really helps our channel helps other people find it so they can go through see some of these advertising techniques implemented to their business and also if you guys want that Facebook ads mini course train 100% for free just go ahead and comment down below just comment Facebook ads and I'll make sure I will send that over to you guys so you have that as well so anyway guys thanks so much for watching today hopefully this video was helpful and with that said um, I will see you all tomorrow